Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the recap of the NGS headline. Um, there is a lot of good news, but there is also quite a bit of bad news. The good news, first of all, is the Braver has been confirmed to come out on August 4th. So August 4th, we'll have Braver. It'll be great. We have a ton of stuff to talk about on that class specifically. Second of all is we have a new Urgent Quest, which is going to be dropping a new weapon series. Unfortunately, we don't know if the new weapon series is going to be four stars or five stars. They didn't hint at it at all. And last of all, we are not getting the Demon Slayer collab, which I was hoping we would get and I talked about it in yesterday's video but unfortunately I was wrong and it's not happening so uh, that kind of sucks. Now obviously there's a whole bunch of other stuff which we're going to hop over to my second monitor in a second but first of all if you're new to the channel I upload PSO2 content daily so if you do play this game I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway without further ado let's begin the video. So first things first, yes, I am still in Genshin Impact. I'm playing on my main account right now. Ganyu is my waifu. However, if you do want to cosplay Ganyu in PSO2, this is my cosplay right here. And if you want to replicate the exact same thing, here are all the fashion pieces. You're welcome. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the NGS headline. So Braver class will be released on August 4th, that's good news. So in order to unlock the Braver class, we will need to talk to an NPC. We're just gonna call her Miss D because her name is too complicated. Why are all the NPCs names so complicated? But either way, we need to talk to Miss D and she will tell you, hey, I'll teach you how to be a Braver. Then you can pick Braver as main class or subclass and just have fun. Now there is an augment specifically made for the Braver. It's called Melra D1 and uh, it does have a 100% success rate at the level 1 version which will give you plus 0.75% melee and ranged weapon potency because you are encouraged to use both weapons, the bow and the katana. However, I know for a fact that a lot of people are going to go katana only or going to go bow only and that's perfectly fine. You don't need to use both weapons in order to enjoy this class, okay? So over here we can see rare weapons for katana and photon bow categories are coming. So this is probably going to be our starter katana and this is going to be like our next level katana. They don't show off like the three stars, four stars, or they, we don't even know what stars these weapons are. But this looks like a one star rarity weapon for sure. And this is slightly more detailed so maybe it's two star or three star, who knows. But look at that, very, very flashy. And the bows over here, this looks so nice. The bows just look so nice, I really like this one. I have a feeling that this might be the starter bow and this might be the better one or this, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about here. But we're gonna skip over to the skill trees now. So over here, we can see the Braver skill tree. So Brave Combat is basically our Katana Combat. However, you can now use Katana Combat with bows. That's why they're calling it Brave Combat. So how Brave Combat works is you activate it and when it is active, there's reduced PP consumption and increased attack PP recovery for a fixed time. Now this skill will expire after a while, but if you tap it again before the time expires, you will launch a powerful attack. And this was showcased in the Braver trailer, so if you're using a katana and you end your brave combat, you sheet the katana and you deal tons of damage around everything. It's just a really anime, super weeb type of attack and I love it. It's super super flashy, very stylish. But something they added in New Genesis is ending brave combat with the bow. That is when you sort of like throw a grenade in the air and you shoot the grenade and it does AoE explosion and blows everything up that is the end of brave combat with the bow and you can see over here there is brave combat short cycle as well as brave combat final bonus so brave combat final bonus simply just gives you more damage when you end brave combat and brave combat short cycle is probably just going to reduce the cooldown time for your brave combat that's what i'm going to assume it does Something that I want to point out, which they didn't show in the trailer, is Katana Guard Counter. This is a very important skill and I am glad it is in the game. This is basically the same thing as what the Hunter has. You know, with the Hunter, with the counter, you just time your block or your weapon action at the right time and you'll do a counter attack. Now if we scroll down over here, we even get Katana Guard Counter Advanced and Fearless Attitude. What I think Fearless Attitude is going to do is probably going to increase our damage whenever we do a counter attack and Katana Guard Counter Advance is probably just going to allow us to do an additional counter attack the moment that we perform a counter. 
So uh, there are a bunch of skills over here. Obviously, there are the bunch of bow skills over here. We've got Tracer Arrow, Bow Illusion Counter, as well as Bow Illusion Plus. So with the bow, it is all about evasion. It's about dodging the attacks. With the katana, it's all about countering the attacks. So based off my personal playstyle, I prefer the katana type of style because I like to counter things. I don't really like to dodge things that much. That's why I never really gravitated towards the phantom and base PSO2 and just kind of stuck with the braver. But I am very, very happy with all of these skills here. Let's scroll up for a sec. So now we've scrolled up a little bit to see the last three skills over here. So Mighty Guard is probably just going to let us take zero damage when we do a perfect counter or maybe just increase our defenses, I'm not entirely sure. Break fall HP gain. This was very, very useful in base PSO2. Basically, when you get hit and you get knocked onto the ground, you know when we press spacebar and you immediately get back up, this will heal you. So you can put five points into this in order to heal a substantial amount of HP whenever you get knocked down, which was very, very useful when I played the Braver back in the base game. And last but not least, we have the Resta Effect Amplifier, which just allowed us to heal more with the healing potions, which is, uh, it's all right. It's like a quality of life type of thing, not really necessary. If you want to take full advantage of Brave Combat, you're actually looking at 13 points in investment right there. So let's see, if we have 13 points here and we want the Katana Guard and all of this stuff down here, let's see how many points we need. So we've got 13 points over here for Brave Combat. Can we take all the skills over here? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 plus. So that is exactly 20 points. So essentially, if you want to play a full hybrid build, you can do so pretty comfortably. The only problem is you won't be able to get Mighty Guard and you won't be able to get Breakfall HP gain. So uh, these two are pretty nice to have. I don't exactly know what Mighty Guard does yet, so maybe it won't matter too much. But Breakfall HP gain was pretty nice. But then again, you can just heal yourself on the fly now since drinking potions doesn't animation lock you, which is really nice. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. So as long as you don't take these three abilities, you can take everything on the skill tree and play a full hybrid build. Now, obviously, if you decide to play bow only or katana only, then you can save some points and you can maybe max out break fall HP gain as well as mighty guard or even the Resta effect amplifier, depending on what you want. OK, now the next thing they're adding into the game is going to be the new urgent quest mining rig defense alio now this will be located in central alio but it is an urgent quest so it is limited to eight people and basically it's just regular mining defense there's going to be these giant oil rig looking towers and there's going to be enemies that swarm all around us and we need to defend it now uh if you guys are from old or base PSO2, you are probably very familiar with how mining base works. It's a tower defense type of thing. It is pretty fun. And the nice thing about this is even if you do fail, like if the mobs destroy all of the towers, you still do get rewards. And the rewards are based off the number of enemies you kill. So that definitely seems pretty fun. But there are a lot of things over here giving me crazy PTSD because I hated mining base back in base PSO2 because when you failed, you got nothing. Um, but at least now in this urgent quest, if you do fail, you still get a bunch of rewards, which is slightly better. Now there are new enemies, so new dolls, as we can see over here. These are like suicide dolls, and over here you've got some crazy gunner dolls that can fly around and shoot stuff and use laser beams and stuff. You got another one with like a Gatling gun. So all of these dolls will not really be focusing on you. They're going to be focusing on the towers. And over here, there's these collect -a signs that you can pick up. So as you can see here, we can use special equipment as long as you have enough points. And in order to get the points, you just have to collect the collect -a signs as they say right here. And with these points, you can repair damage. You can deploy a barrier shield, which gives a specific tower invulnerability for a short period of time, as well as use special equipment which is really awesome and we're gonna see right here where we can summon mobile cannons look at this you summon a freaking minigun or ion cannon i don't know what this is but it is badass it is like the freaking bfg from doom you just boom look at that it looks freaking amazing and it allows you to dash around really really quickly so uh that looks freaking awesome and i think that's gonna be a big part of uh being able to kill all these mobs really really quickly 
but this is definitely really fun for people who have never done mining base before it's definitely a breath of fresh air however i can see a lot of people getting bored of this very very quickly because uh that's what happened to me in base pso2 and that's why i have ptsd whenever i do this because i yeah it's too much I, i've ran this so many times but it is really really fun all right so basically it's just think of it like an onslaught waves and waves of enemies coming at you you kill them all but we have to talk about the rewards which makes all of this worth it and that is the evil coat series over here now we don't know if this series is a five star weapon series or a four star weapon series but it sort of looks like a five star i wouldn't be surprised i mean it's purple it's regal it looks really awesome like i would not be surprised if this was a five star weapon series so it gives us something to do so whenever the mining rig defense comes up we're all like dude let's do it and maybe like the drop rate for these weapons are going to be a lot higher if you actually clear the full thing so uh, there's definitely some, uh, you know, it's interesting. It's something to do, something to work towards, which gives us a little bit more content since uh, in the month of August, we don't really have a lot of content. We have a lot of scratches as usual. However, this time there is a little bit of good news and that is two of the scratches are actually SG scratches. So pretty free to play friendly. Now there will be a couple campaigns running throughout the period of August. We will get the Braver commemorative login bonus, the Defense Quest commemorative login bonus, the ARCs training program, and the new ARC support present campaign. So there's this a bunch of campaigns over here giving us a bunch of free items so it's not much but it's just something to keep us busy so uh, just do it you know it's easy free star gems as well as free items so might as well pick them up we even get the uh, end color change pass and this was actually one of the main sources of color change passes as well as salon passes and stuff that we happen to get in base pso2 was just by doing a lot of the campaigns now don't forget in the fall we will be getting the mission pass which is a large source of our cosmetic items so please Please don't spend all of your SG yet. Now speaking about SG, there is a new SG scratch that will be introduced on August 4th called the Astute Braver. So let's watch this trailer together. So as we can see here, this is the outfit of the Braver. So uh, a lot of people were asking for this, so we can now pick it up. You can even take off the inner shirt if you don't want that. It's very, very nice. We've got the female variant. I'm a big fan of that hairstyle. I definitely will be picking up this hairstyle because I, I just really like it. Now, do remember, we do get free scratches for this every single day. You know that free SG scratch? That will be applied to this scratch because the current one is going to be going away on the 4th and being replaced with this scratch. All right? So we've got some tongue piercings, some horns, we've got some different emotes as you can see here without the finger movement on the right side and with finger movements on the left side. So there's here, pretty cool, I guess, sort of. We've got folded arms, I am glad that free to play or like SG Scratch finally gets like an idle animation and it actually looks really good. I am a big fan of the folded arms thing because that it just looks badass. And then for the edgier folk out there, we have our signature pose. So we'll watch this. Oh yeah, this is like some Megumin pose right here. You, they, they just need some line going like, Oh my eye, I'm unleashing my true power or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, it's perfect Megumin stuff right there. Um, but this is really, really cool. I quite like how they called it the signature pose. They really understand their audience very well. And then we've got the braver pose over here. So uh, with the katana, this is just the, you know, the poster boy kind of pose. And as well as the braver with the bow. This is their signature poses. Really, really nice. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome For the heals, the boosts, the rest